na mjambo mpenzi mtazamaji na karibu katika makala yako ya kila wikendi ya utesi ugani na mie Hassan Juma na mkungine kwa ni kwamba timu ya start mobleds ndio mabingo wa mwaka huu wa ligi ya mpira wa vikapu vya vio viku timu hiyo ilaza zitek katika finali za mashindano hayo maarufu kama Zubiel katika ukumbi wa Kasarani katika upande wa kinadada chuo kikuu cha USIU kilifadhi taji lao baada ya kulaza chuo cha Statmo Robinson Kenye ana taarifa zaidi Finali za mpira wa vikapu za ligi ya vio vikuu mwinchini zilipigiwa upato kufana na bila shaka zilikuwa za kusisimua Timu ya Strathmore Blades ilichuana na Zitek Titans huku kila mmoja wao akiwa na ari ya kutua taji hilo Blades walichukua uongozi wa mapema na wakawa wameiongoza zite kwa alama 18 kwa 12 katika robo ya kwanza. Kwenye robo ya pili Blades walizidi kuimarika na wakafunga alama nyingine 16 dhidi ya tisa za zite kabla muda wa mapumziko. Katika robo ya tatu zite kwa na kufunga alama 12 dhidi ya kumi za Blades. Licha ya zite kuchangamka katika robo ya mwisho Nyota wa Strathmore Joseph Ongora aliongoza timu yake kupata ushindi wa alama 54 kwa 44 na kutua taji hilo. Uh, kulingana na jana tulipatia na yetu yote lakini nimefurahia sana vijana wamejitokeza uh, Zetek ni timu nzuri sana na pia naweza washukuru kwa mchezo mzuri lakini wachezaji wangu walikuwa wazuri zaidi katika upande wa kinadada mabingwa watetezi chuo cha USAI walidhirisha ubabe wao baada ya kulaza Strathmore alama 44 kwa 33 Flames waliwazidi maarifa wa pinzani wao katika kila robo na kutoa ubingwa huo kwa mara ya pili sasa. Uh, if you look at it, it's a team that has one good coaches, quality players and then that rivalry between USIU and Strathmore is there to stay. Chuo cha Igaton kilimaliza katika nafasi ya tatu upande wa wanaume, huku chuo cha Maseno kikimaliza katika nafasi ya tatu upande wa kinadada. Robinson Okenye, KTN Michezo na barabara kabisa sitaki kumla mbuzi huyo peke yangu na nawashukuru wa mchezo wa vikapu nchini e, wa kilishi wa Strathmore na alikadhalika pia ZBL e, Slale wa Strathmore na Jose e, Zuko nam eh karibu sana katika studio shukran na Slale mambo kwamba e, kidogo Kiswahili kinakupiga chenga je <laughs> how was the season for you Uh, the season was excellent. It mm. is uh, the second ZUBL season. Mm. Uh, we began um, just about two years ago. Mm. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of excitement building up to the finals. Mm. We saw two new teams that were not even there last season mm. make their way all the way to the end. And so uh, we're expecting even a greater season uh, in the next year. I'm kind of Pinzani wa mwaka huu, Jose, kwako, sijui mashindano haya, tangu muanze, E, kuwa kama washkadau mm. wa, wa ligi hii wa ligi, ligi imekuwa vipi ligi tunaona ligi ikiendelea ku grow mm-hmm. imekuwa um, tulianza na teams ndogo mm-hmm. na pia universities ndogo mm-hmm. kwa sasa imeendelea kukua hii ndio kila mtu anataka kuingia kwa hii league mm-hmm. cause from ukishatoka hii league unaenda sasa ile ligi kubwa mm-hmm. na tumeona vijana wetu wana perform vizuri sana alafu wanaenda KBF mm-hmm. yeah so tumekuwa na more universities na more teams na tunaendelea kuwa support mm-hmm. na Strathmore wame come through vizuri sana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Finali jana zilikuwaaje? <laughs> Maana na, naambiwa na mwenzangu Robinson Okenye kwamba finali hizi zili isha mwendo wa saa tano hivi yeah, usiku. Saa tano usiku. Zilikuwa aje? Zilikuwa moto sana. Mm-hmm. Kila mtu alikuwa anadhani zita kwa naweza chukua lakini mm-hmm. Strathmore mm-hmm. waliwachapa vibaya sana kutoka mm-hmm. kwa kota ya pili ya tatu na yane mm-hmm. walikuwa tu wako kwenye moto mm-hmm. yana waliweza kuwachapa 53 to 44 mm-hmm. yeah Msalala uh, I'm asking uh, just say how the competition was especially last night. Mm. Uh, well you know Zetek uh, Titans and the Strathmore Blades actually have developed into a very big rival mm-hmm. in that it's a big game. So the the turnout was good there were a lot of fans mm. and as Joseph said a lot of people were expecting uh, Zetek to win and wanted Zetek to win mm-hmm. but uh, Strathmore had a very good game mm-hmm. and they beat uh, Zetek quite well. Mm-hmm. Jose yeah. nkirije kwako. Yeah. Ukiangalia uh, ligi ya vikapu aswa imetawaliwa yeah. sana na chuo kikuu cha USIU. Cha USIU. Je, yeah. eh, timu hii ya Zitek, mm. Ms. Kundrad, yes, timu ya start kutoa mm. ushindi. Mm. Kuna sheria nini? Je, na sheria kwamba pingine eh, upinzani umeanza kubadilika, umeanza kupitishana vile vijiti vijiti yeah. vipi? Yeah, ina sheria pia zile teams kila mtu 
aone ni kama inazashinda mm -hmm. ndio zinaendelea ku, kupanda juu mm -hmm. pia ukiangalia chuo kiko kama cha maseno mm -hmm. na masinda mulero hizo teams iko very strong mm -hmm. na tukiendelea hii na hii then maybe the next season mm -hmm. wanaweza kuwa wana come up kabisa mm. wanaweza kuwa maybe namba 2 ama namba 1 lakini upinzani ni unajua Jose upinzani ni wavio vikuu vya vya Nairobi za Nairobi ni kwa nini mchezo huu pigeni msuri kwa hizo hizo county zingine <laughs> pia teams hizo zingine tumewalika mm -hmm. na pia walikuja Nairobi mm -hmm. ni ni vanya tu walichapwa mm -hmm. unajua ukishindwa sawa unakubali mm -hmm. so yeah kila mtu alafu ikaenda sasa Nairobi mm -hmm. so Nairobi walichapana sana pia tulikuwa na expect team kama University of Nairobi na maybe pia USIU mm -hmm. men wako kwenye finals lakini walishindwa mm -hmm. na wakakubali mm -hmm. yeah. what next for you uh, what's next is to prepare now for the next uh, season of the ZUBL mm -hmm. as I said before we're expecting it to be bigger mm -hmm. I'm sure maybe even more universities will want to join the league and mm -hmm. with uh, the sponsorship of Zuku you can see mm -hmm. it's really become an organized mm -hmm. uh, university league mm -hmm. so I'm sure uh, other people will want to jump on that opportunity and be a part of uh, the University Basketball League. Asante. Yeah. Naam, Antisha Suna Nigel ni ndio mmoja wapo wa washindi waliobobea katika makala ya kuogelea Kiki Junior and Master Championship aliyofanyika hii leo katika shule ya makini. Chipukizi Antisha Suna alidhihirisha ubabe wake aliposhinda wapinzani wake na kutoa ubingwa katika vitengo mbalimbali kwenye mashindano hayo kwa kitengo cha mita 25 upande wa kinadada Antisha alinyakuwa ushindi baada ya kuwapiku Kimeto Shila na Mulemi Sydney na kuandikisha muda wa dakika mbili sekunde 14 katika upande wa wanaume Shupavu kutoka chuo kikuu cha USIU Digital Nindo alitoa ubingwa kwa kuandikisha muda wa dakika moja sekunde 16 katika kitengo cha mita 100 na Australia basi ndio mabingwa wa dunia katika mchezo wa kriketi hii baada ya kulaza New Zealand katika finali za mchezo huo uliochezewa katika uwanja wa Melbourne. New Zealand ilipoteza nahodha wao katika mpira wa tano dhidi ya timu hii ya Australia ilionekana kuimarika katika mchezo huo wa, wa leo mbele ya mashabiki wao wa nyumbani. Australia haikuonekana kutapatapa katika mchezo huo huku kiandikisha ushindi wa wiki saba. Naam jose kwa hivyo tuko nakuuliza nyinyi kama wafadhili wa e, ZUBL mnaona kwamba mchezo huu umemarika sana. Umemarika sana. Sijui e, tutarajie nini siku za usoni. Siku za usoni tunataka league ikuwe ni regional. Mm -hmm. So tuko na timu za Kenya, tuko sasa pia na Uganda, mm -hmm. alafu tukiaza pia Tanzania. Mm -hmm. Alafu hizi timu zote mwenye mshindi wote wanakutana maybe Nairobi mm -hmm. anakuja wanachapana kila mtu mm -hmm. ya tunaona nani nani bingo East Africa na kwa sasa mm -hmm. eh, mshindi wa ligi ya vikapu nchini kwa pande ya vyo vikuu mm, struggle huenda wapi so venye tume structure hiyo league mm -hmm. ukishinda no. uki graduate kutoka university mm -hmm. then utaenda kwa hiyo ligi kuu mm -hmm. sasa ligi ligi kubwa mm -hmm. lakini bado unaendelea kucheza university yako mm -hmm. kwa sababu pia uh, title na pia pesa zenye tunapatia na pia sponsorship ya mm. kwa lipia mm -hmm. ya yeah, school fees mm -hmm. so unaendelea tu kucheza university yako hakuna mm. mm. hakuna mashindano yote ya kwenda nje pengine kushiriki dhidi ya pengine timu kama Makerere inter university zile ama kuna hizo ndizo tunafanya mm -hmm. last december tuliwapeleka ya Kampala mm -hmm. na walicheza na timu za Uganda mm -hmm. so i think ndio walikuwa very confident sasa mm -hmm. wakirudi Kenya wana wanachapana sana mm -hmm. kwa sababu timu za Uganda pia ziko very strong mm -hmm. na opinion zangu ni wakikuja Kenya watawachapa wanachapa mm -hmm. Stradma watachapa Yosayu mm -hmm. watachapa team zote zenye tuna tunagundua ndio team kubwa huko mm -hmm. mm -hmm. hali ya mchezo wa vikapu nchini mm -hmm. aswa mm -hmm. uh, iko vipi kulingana naye steam ya taifa mm -hmm. e, upande wa kinadada mm -hmm. na wanaume mm -hmm. hadi vio vikubwa pia mm -hmm. hali ya mchezo uko vipi hali bado iko chini haiko mm -hmm ila kiwango tunataka ikuwe mm -hmm. tunahitaji more exposure na pia more support mm -hmm. kutoka maybe sponsors wengine mm -hmm. na pia hao vijana wanafaa tuseme kutoka tuko wazazi mm -hmm. mtoto wako akikwambia anataka kucheza mm -hmm. ni support mm -hmm. tafadhali ndio kila mtu anze kutoka tu kwa mchanga unakuja mm -hmm. ukigrow na 
Mm-hmm. Lakini mkiongea na wafadhili, nyinyi oh. nyinyi zuku kwenye na wafadhili sijui mm. sijui timu hii ya Strathmo mm. na ile ya USIU. USIU. Walishinda nini kando na pengine kupata medali? Um tuliopatia cash prize ya uh, around 150,000 mm-hmm. kila team mm-hmm. na pia wanalipiwa school fees. Hiyo mm-hmm. ni mchezaji kila mchezaji ama Uh, the best, mm. best players yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wale wa ntwa mvp wale mvp uh-huh. yeah but tukiendelea maybe tutalipia kila player eh, mm. kwa hivyo tukiwa siku za usoni tarajie kwamba kuna mzuku yeah em um, najua wafadhili wengine maana mm. kuna michezo kuna baadhi ya mchezo ambao kidogo wafadhili wamejiondoa katika michezo hiyo mm. pengine kwa sababu ya usimamizi ule kidogo ni duni je yeah. eh, kuwepo kwenu mm. kwa mchezo wa vikapu kuna mm. sheria nini na pili wasia wako kwa washikada wengine hmm. wafadhili wengine kuepo kwa zuku kwa hii michezo inaashiria kwamba kuna hmm. tuko na confidence <coughs> na, na game hmm. so unaleta passion yako kama ni mfadhili ukiweka pesa hmm. alafu unaona league na grow hmm. pia hao washikada wengine wana wanakuwa na confidence na tumeona watu wengine wa kitu approach hmm. sponsors wengine hmm. na siwezi wataja saa hizi hmm. pia international sponsors wa kitu approach wanasema tunaweza shirikiana tu twin way game mm-hmm. so tukiendelea mbele maybe season 3 utaona tutakuja na watu wengine na pia pesa zingine mm-hmm. yeah. so I was, I was asking um, Joseph you know how are the standard standards of the game in the country uh, the standards of the game in the country in if for basketball um, you know were a bit low initially mm-hmm. but you know when you have investments from uh, corporations the standards increase now there's money to train coaches mm-hmm. now there's money to train referees mm-hmm. so they become uh, at international levels mm-hmm. of uh, standard levels mm-hmm. and then with that investment now the players also become better mm-hmm. so even coming from the the you know the first season to the second season you can see the level of basketball is actually improving mm-hmm. amongst the players in mm-hmm. the league Changamoto zimekuwa zipi kwa wenyeji kwa kisha kwamba timu zote hizi za vivyo maana ni, ni, ni timu nyingi sana za vivyo nyingi sana. Je, changamoto zimekuwa zipi kwa kwamba timu hizi zote zinashiriki katika michuano hii? Changamoto ni ku make sure kila university, kila chuo kinaona muhimu mm-hmm. wa vijana wao kucheza na kushiriki kwenye ZBL. Mm-hmm. So tumekuwa changamoto mingi ni tuna agree maybe mm-hmm. Saturday tutachezea kwenye <laughs> Eche chuo yeah. alafu mmefika hapo mm-hmm. sanane inafaa kick off but mm-hmm. hakuna team iko mm-hmm. mostly from the campuses lakini tumeendelea hivyo i think over there now hizo miezi tano hivi kila mtu ameanza kugundua ah tuko very seasoned now so hata mm-hmm. tukiambia kujeni Nairobi mchezaji friendly mm-hmm. unaona chuo ina inakubalia mm-hmm. team zake zikuja pia na pia na basi na vitu kama hizo mm-hmm. mm-hmm. so how is it juggling Uh, academics and um, and the game you know because uh, most of these students mo- um, these students have other assignments mm-hmm. and then get me stamp papers you know mm-hmm. uh, exams etc mm-hmm. etc et how is it juggling the game as well as studies well i mean you know we actually have a term for that it's mm-hmm. called student athlete mm-hmm. and a student athlete is a person like you've said who's uh, an athlete they have mm-hmm. sports but they're also juggling their education mm-hmm. and those people are really respected because it's not easy You have to and you when you learn certain skills by being a student athlete you, ter- you learn time management mm-hmm. you learn organization mm-hmm. those are things that you have to have and you, you can help you later on in life mm-hmm. but um it's not easy uh an, a student athlete has to go to class mm-hmm. but still create time to to train uh you know the gym mm-hmm. still ha- make time for for um practice mm-hmm. in the evening mm-hmm. and then now there the addition of games so it's not easy but um that's why we really respect student athletes mm-hmm. yes thank you eh uh, you see mm-hmm. sekunde kama kumi tu wasia wako kwa shikada wa mchezo huu wa vikapu nchini mm-hmm. ambao anakutazama wasia wako ni upi mhm mm-hmm. yako pengine advice ni tuendelee ku, ku train mm-hmm. kabisa 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 no. kila kila mwana sporti anahitaji ku train mm-hmm. alafu pia venye silale amesema mm-hmm. una juggle between studies na mchezo mm-hmm. so lazima uko na hiyo balance mm-hmm. alafu una give it all your own kwa sababu ni passion kila kitu ni passion mm-hmm. yeah asante sana thanks a lot thank you mm-hmm.